Hi, this is SV Tapatia, and I'm Tony, and this is the video record of what it's like to build a 32-foot cruising sailboat. Yeah, well, we're in the middle of the coldest cold snap we've had for uh, for years, actually. I'm afraid it cannot be denied that it slows things down a bit. It's still uh, still forecast to go on for a, a week or so yet, so for well, ten days. The forecast, as far as the forecast goes, this is forecast to go on. So um, we're doing our best in a in a cold situation. My chill brains are burning.
is the Dickinson Bristol diesel stove that would be fitting is the front's off and looks <laughs> looks a bit of a mess, but it looks good when it's assembled. Um, and these old stoves, they have a diesel metering valve on the side here. I'll just zoom into that a bit. And this metering valve controls the level of diesel for the burner. And basically what we've got here is we've got the, the diesel comes in here um, into a float valve in here that controls the level. And just in case, so, so the diesel goes into the burner through this pipe here, just in case we've got an overflow there and the overflow has to be plumbed into something. Could be plumbed all the way back to the diesel tank, but a much easier option that I've done before is to plumb that into a catching tank, a small catching tank. In truth, very, very little comes out of it. Very little indeed. So it just needs to go into a container. I think on my previous boat I used a peanut butter jar, but I thought this <laughs> this time I'd do something a bit more professional. Um, and so the first job I had to do was to turn this valve around so, so that the pipes access from the back because previously they came from the side into the front of the valve, but that's easy enough to do, spin that around. And then I wanted to mount that tank for the, uh, for the overflow. Had this strange little corner between the, between the stove mounting platform and, and the galley covers here. Um, and weirdly, nobody ever commented on that weird corner. But it was always, uh, always destined to be this place where I was gonna put that overflow tank. Uh, for the stove, so I've got that in order, a little aluminium tank, mounted that in there, and the tank has a, has a sight tube on the side, so I've cut a slot out of that so we can actually see the sight tube. Keep an eye on, on, on the level in it, I shall cover that with a bit of perspex. But of course, in order to empty that tank, I need to be able to access it, so I've made these boards that will lift out, and that will be a hinged door on there. Something like that, that'll open. It's then possible to get that out to access that tank. So that's coming on. Put a couple of bits of trim around the edge there that look quite nice, I think. And the other thing that's going on here is that um, the stove, as it fits, it has two holes at the front that, that you screw through the feet. And at the back, it's supposed to have a, a tie bar, a tie like that. Now I haven't got the original from the stove, so but it's you know, nothing difficult, it's just a piece of stainless, isn't it? So I made that piece of stainless there. That would bolt down through there. The stove slides under it and then screws into those two holes there. So that's how these stoves are mounted. So that's all ready to go. I'm waiting for bolts because, as I told you before, all the hardware stores are shut, so I can't just nip out and buy screws for it. But as soon as the bolts arrive, we're ready to mount the stove. Hey!
It made a bit of progress with the with the mast fitting. Um, I put this eight millimeter round stainless bar around the top that gives us gives us a lip that the uh, that the mast boot will fit over. The mast boot will clamp around there, so that locates that. And it's come out rather well, I think. The last step is to put some webs up here, so they'll come up, leaving enough room for the mast boot fitting there. They'll come up there somewhere with some webs, eight webs to come around. And then that's looking pretty good, I think. Um, yeah, getting on. And that's it for this week guys thanks for watching give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button please and uh, we'll be pushing on see you next time bye